This one's gonna be on a really cool app called Cuffer, and it's way better than Gnome Do. And you guys know me how much I love Gnome Do, but this one really kills it uh, with all these features they have. So let me show you. It still does the same thing. Like uh, let me see. To summon it is Control Space, right? And you can still open, uh, you know, all this like a folder. Uh, let's see, Mines or something, all right? Not a big deal. It still does the same thing. Uh, I do like the fact that it, it still, you know, uh, displays the last action you did here. Like I opened mines, it was the last thing I did. It still has it here. Okay, uh, it's kind of convenient if you're doing like advanced stuff later on, but that's not a big deal. Another thing is uh, they have the comma trick, which is really cool. You know how you open an application, uh, you open one at a time, and then you summon it again. You open another one. That's not really efficient. This thing you can open like three or four at the same time. Look at this. So let me give you an example say mines and then you hit comma and then you go let's say shuduku hit comma and you see how it queues it up here right the little icon there and let's say I open another one like GP rename and now when you push enter all three of them will open look at that all three of them there dig that okay really convenient there uh, let's see what else do they have here well this one is like some minor stuff but uh, you can still do math so you hit equals and then you go like 2 plus 2 really quick there right uh, if you want more help on that just hit equals and type in help and they got like more option like doing like you know sine cosine tan and all that not a big deal but still cool uh, another thing is um, I don't know I kinda like this one you hit slash you can actually browse the the root folder USR uh, whatever you just type it in and it opens really quick kinda dig that too but not really major. This this new one, um, it was it's called the compose command. This is really cool too. So let me show you an example of that. Let's say you want to open your home folder. Uh, so the home folder is the object, and the launching is the action. So object action, right? You want to combine those two. So to do that, you use the compose key, which is Control Enter, right? And you see how it combines those two right here, the home and the launching. And then you have the more more options in, in the second box here. So the second box you have like uh, the run or the trigger, which I'll show you in a minute. But we'll do this first one first. Uh, so the delay, and then you go to this third box, and then you hit the period, and now you can type stuff in. So we're gonna type in uh, zero minutes, and let's say three seconds, okay. And in three seconds you'll see. it opens it right there after three seconds of delay now this is pretty good if you want to do like a reminder so let me give you an example of that uh... so you hit period and you type in your stuff let's say i want to brush my teeth okay uh... that's the message and hit tab and then you want to select a large uh, font or something here and now you want to uh... is do use the compose key so you want to combine these two okay so this and this the text and the message. So uh, control enter and now you combine those two. Uh, and then you do the delay again. So let's go to do what is it zero minutes uh three seconds. And there you go. This is a good reminder you wanna brush your teeth and hit escape if you want to get rid of the message. Uh, so that's the compose command. Pretty really dig that. You can do a lot more with that, but that's just an example I give you. And uh, let's go on to something else here. Oh, this is some minor stuff too, but I dig this one too. So let's say you have your, um, let's say your home folder here. If you hit the right arrow, you have, you know, it'll, it'll display the content of it. But I like the thing about this is that they don't display the hidden folders. Okay. Uh, if you want to display the hidden folders, uh, let's go back and do our home folder again. You hold Alt and you hit right, and now it shows you the hidden folders here. See, so all your dot folders and all that. Dig that how they separated that. And what else is here? Um, oh yeah, let's get on to triggers. Triggers are kind of like uh, hotkeys uh, or global hotkeys for this. So I'm gonna give you an example of what you can do with that. Um, let me open a, a folder here. Okay, so we have a folder, and let's say I'll send this PDF to the desktop. Okay, so if I highlight this, uh, this is just highlight it. That's all you gotta do. And now we're gonna use uh, Comfort, and we'll see what else you do here. So you do selected file, 
So you type in selected file and it'll, it'll recognize which one you selected. And then you hit tab. And now you want to say move to, or you can do some other stuff, but we're going to use move to. And let's say we want the desktop, right? Now, if you do this manually, you see it will just go to the desktop here, which it did. It, it moves it here. All right. Uh, what else is here? But, you know, that takes too long to do that manually. Um, so you can actually set up a hotkey to do that uh, automatically when you just push the hotkey. So let me give you an example of that. Let's say I hit on this log file. And uh, we're going to do the same stuff again. So we're going to select it, file. And then we're going to go to the move to and the desktop. And now we're going to combine all these three here. So one, two, three. We're going to combine all of it we're using the compose key we just learned. So control enter. And you combine the three of them right here, right? Selected file, uh, move to, and the desktop. And now we can use the second box to say we want to do a trigger for that. And in the third box, you hit the, was it the period? And now you can set up a hotkey for this. So you go, hotkey is control, or whatever hotkey you want. So I'm going to use control, alt, and N or something, right? And then you hit enter. And uh, next time, all you got to do is just highlight it. Let's say you highlight this one and push control out N. And you see it sends it automatically to the desktop here. And it even gives you an option of opening it if you like. Uh, you can open it. Right? Not a big deal. Uh, if you want to do like multiples, you can actually highlight all these three or whatever many you want. And hit uh, the high key. And there you go. All of, all of them sends it to uh, the desktop or whatever place you want to go to. So I'm digging that. Um, well, let's put this back in there. It's kind of messy here. Uh, so that's the trigger. If you want to get rid of the triggers, you can always go, um, what is it? Type in triggers, hit enter, and now you have all these uh, high keys here. You can actually, um, what is it, uh, go here and remove it. Remove triggers. And that's how you'll remove the the hotkey if you want to do that. Uh, so what else is here? Oh yeah, they have uh, plugins. Uh, it's, not, it's not really missing that much. Uh, you, this is where you set up your key binding. If you don't like control space, you can do that. Uh, not a big deal. As far as the plugins, they have a lot. Um, I don't know if it's, all of them is useful, but I only try a few so far. The first one I like is the notes. You can actually uh, tell it to use whatever, the G note or Tomboy. All right. Oh yeah, this other thing. I don't want to start a flame war, but um, uh, this Kunfer doesn't use uh, mono. Uh, I was reading up on it. So if you're a big mono hater, you can always use this. Okay. I, I like this one better than Gnome Do uh, right now, also. And uh, it's not really uh, a, uh, a a specific environment. So you, if you're using like KDE or something, whatever. Yeah, I, I was I would suggest using this. Okay. So you you can tell it you'll use a uh, Gnome KDE. LXDE or whatever. Uh, this is really cool. I really like this app, and um, it's a really low requirement too. I, I don't think they use any compositing. Uh, it doesn't really require that. I think GNOME do requires that. I'm not sure. Forgot, but um, yeah, check it out. Really cool. Um, the only thing I can say bad about this is not it's not very polished right now. You know, it doesn't look that pretty. Like it is. It's not that pretty, but. Uh, Maybe like in the future release, um, you know, it'll be like uh, really pimp, and they'll probably have more features, which I would dig in more plugins. But uh, right now, I'm digging it. I'll say it's way better than uh, GNOME Do and way better than K Runner or whatever the hell that is, right? Dig that. So check it out. Uh, Kumfer, all right.